Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farm Simulator. Let's kick a track, I guess, and let's get started here, folks. Now, today, we are going to talk about what we're doing here in the future. So, there's some rocks out. They're not real bad. And I don't, we, you know, with the loan, we don't want to spend too much money. So, I think we're going to wait till next harvest to do the rock and uh, the lime and stuff. And we need to get corn in. And if you look... If we go down to our feet or up to our dealios, you can see corn can only be planted in April. So we got to go all the way around. But while we're doing that, we do have some problems. I want to check out right here. This actually shows up as a field info, and we just want it to be regular grass. But I think I can do this. Let's go over to landscaping. And we're going to have to be very careful because I think it's under painting. And uh, uh, we want it to be uh, dry grass, grass. Is there any thick grass? All right, so there's this. And, yep, we're going to have to go like this. Let's go bigger, like so, because that's what we're really looking for. We're not really looking for grass to actually go ahead and... Um, use in it how much does this cost oh this isn't actually that bad so i because i don't want that even this stuff is fully grown here and you can see it's showing up as a field so let's go ahead and get this filled in with that perfect let's work our way down now we're gonna do all these and i'm i hopefully they come back with grass uh, so I'm going to be a little careful not to go too big. There we go. And I think we have down here, we have a few as well. But this is really going to clean it up for us. We want it to look decent. Um, I think grass will grow there thick. I don't know. I could try and reseed over top of it and see if that works as well. But honestly, I'm not as worried uh, about it because there's still going to be plenty of grass over here, honestly. All right, so I'm going to finish this up. Yeah, this is looking pretty good here. I'm going to finish this up, and we've only got a few spots left. And then what we're going to do today is we're going to try to make some money with the little bit of money we have because we are going to actually go ahead and get into some stuff today here okay first things first we're gonna get into construction here go to some production wait we're wrong one right hmm. oh greenhouses there they are and we are gonna go ahead and that is too far there um actually hmm this would be a pretty good spot for a greenhouse actually um i think we're just gonna do one for right now we really need to get this straight though i want this to be good and not crazy so let's go ahead and put that there let's see how good this looks here all right let's take a look here it looks like we're going to need water obviously we're going to be real careful not to hit our pallets there um, but I'm thinking this is a good spot because we can have uh, as you can see pallets already are over here I think these ones you can move by hand so let's go ahead open door oh wow that's kind of fancy let's go ahead and manage production so we can do tomatoes lettuce or all right so tomato lettuce or strawberries let's go ahead and look at prices here guys and see what we want to actually do while we're in here i believe hmm, let's see we have strawberry lettuce and let's see all right, there they are right here. Lettuce is the most. 
strawberries are the least. So I think for the time we're going to do strawberries for a few reasons. I know they're all about equal, but if I do lettuce, uh, there'll be less pallets and we'll get more for the pallets. So let's go ahead and click them. And we don't want them to store, or we want them, uh, let's see, I think it's going to, outgoing yeah it's storing i want to store it yep yeah okay it's already on storing so uh, that's good they should pop up right here and this actually cleaned up this corner real nicely i actually did off camera do that over here too because i felt like it looked better now i don't know if it'll grow or not we'll see if it grows oh well if it don't grow though i may do the whole yard that way because it just looks nicer and cleaner all right, but this does need, need we need a water deal. Um, oh, and we got to take the plow back anyway. Uh, we are done with the plow for now. And we were leasing it, so let's go into water. Let's see where our container. I know there is a water tank in here somewhere. Um, animals yeah there we go now i would really like to get this one but i realize it's the same size essentially as this one so i think what we're going to do is we're going to buy this one here until this one goes on sale because we're going to be refilling water all the time but honestly getting into this is going to be nice just getting into a water tank so let's go up with Oh, you know what? That's a perfect job for classy dogs. So let's go grab the water tank, folks. All right, so there is free water here. And I think if we just back up into it, um, this is probably not the best spot to do it. But let's just go ahead, back up, get it in there and see if we can't refill it. And this might take a while, but like I said too, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is actually just going to be something that's going to help us out on the money front. Um, let's see if we can get it here. Also, we have that water tank at our place. And I know it costs money to buy from there. Um, but it may save us time. I don't know how expensive it is. So I want to do the free method once and just see kind of the time frame because you have do have to fill this thing these greenhouses quite often we may eventually do another greenhouse as well but for the time being i think we're just gonna do the one so let's go ahead and come back here i i've never actually had the greenhouses before as much as i played farming simulator or not in a long time anyway um so i'm not sure uh, I know they hold a lot of water. I don't know if they use a lot of water. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and pull in here. And just take a look. I want to see. Because for $20,000 for that greenhouse. If we make even $3,000 in a year off of it. I think that's, a, that's about the value you want. Because uh, you'll make your money back in a few years on it. All right, let's back up and let's see what it was. All right, so it looks like it's producing. Oh, I forget that it won't unload while I'm not in it. Also today, too, we're going to be selling our crops from this year. Now, I know we talked about how uh, these ups and downs and peaks and stuff aren't exactly perfect. But honestly, we are going to be kind of going with it, though. So, play, there we go. As you can see, price fluctuations. We have some straw, so we'll be selling that like crazy in December. Let's also take a look here. What do else do we have? So, December, November, December, December. So, we'll have canola in November that we can do. And I think everything else is right after that, right? Everything is November or December, yeah. But we are going to do that because I think it represents a really good way to play the game. Let's try to get our butts in here now and see. Did that fill it? I don't think it did. 
Manage. There we go. Oh, it's not even close. Oh, okay. So let's go over here then. And unlike the uh, the honey, that will actually store a bunch in it. And when we move pallets, it'll come out. So let's see how bad this is. If this is only like a few hundred bucks. Oh, that's that we're going to see. But this is not good. I think we're just going to remove that water deal altogether because that looks like it's costing quite a bit of money, actually. Wow, so I think we're already down 400. Holy cow, yeah. Well, let's fill it up because I do want to see this through. And then we're going to check and see what it is for our price here. We're getting close. Huh. So I'm thinking that's already like a thousand to fill this up. That's ridiculous. I don't. Yeah, you, you can't be doing that. We gotta, we got to go take it from the lake. Oh, it's 7.30. Yeah, we're going to take from the lake. Okay, so let me fill this bad boy completely up and then bring you guys back here. All right, I've actually found a little bit better place over here to fill up. Um... It actually doesn't take too long to get to you. Just hopefully this little guy can make her up and down. Yep, and he can. And we're right by the house. So I think this is going to help I refill water from on now. Actually, there's a good spot right there too. So that's much better than going all the way over to that lake. So I think this is how we're going to keep refilling it. Let's get this thing filled up, guys. All right, we are advancing. Now, while we're advancing, we're going to keep an eye out on deals. I know we have a loan out, but this is when we're advancing so many days. This is going to be the best time to find stuff to sell or to buy and sell. Now, we do have most of the stuff that we do need. So, let's go ahead and take... Oh. Ooh. We're going to be looking for a few things. Um... Darn, that's a really good one. I think we're going to wait, though. If a big semi one comes on sale, I probably will do that. Um, but I think otherwise, I think we're just going to keep going. I'm not seeing nothing there. Let's go check our other stuff. I have the semi placed at the house just to kind of see what happens. Let's take a look here. How is it doing on water? Oh, it only came down a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Um, now, it's going to be tough because I don't think it's going to go for the first bit. Them are good. So let's go back, head over here, and let's advance some more time here, folks. I'm going to keep advancing. What I'll do is I, I'll keep advancing off camera, I think. And I won't spend any money or repay the loan. Um, but if there's nothing cool, there's, I guess, no reason for you guys to get drug along on this journey. Um, well, let's do a couple more months because I just realized we may have to move some stuff and things here. Uh, we don't, wow, that's all we have for this month? That's pretty terrible. In fact, that's real terrible, terrible. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, man, that pallets are back there are a freaking mess um let's grab this yeah because every month i'm gonna go ahead and pick up these and just place them on the truck so yeah i think i'm gonna advance time and i'll bring you back if, if anything interesting happens until we get to sell points all right so this is super cheap and if we're gonna get into grass eventually we do need to get this it's only six grand we'll buy it right now but we're gonna not go ahead and pick it up yet we're just gonna leave it up at the shop okay um so <laughs> a bigger harvester showed up and i didn't want to do this but it is only, it is a step above, and we could sell ours and get 
some money for it. And uh, this guy here, I think, well, let's take a look here because this is a real debate. So this harvester is the one we lot got, and it has a six meter working width. This one has a, oh, and it has a corn head, 8.5. Actually, that's really not, huh, 6.2, 8.5. I mean, ooh, that is not... As much as I thought it was going to be. 8.5. Oh, there is not a real upgrade then, is there? Until you get to... What is this guy here? This one is 10? Yeah, this guy. I don't know if that's enough of an upgrade, really. I mean, it barely holds more. It's like twice as expensive for... But the headers are a big thing, though. We can do sunflower seeds with it. Huh. 8.5 to 6. Yeah, I think, honestly, we probably should. Um, so let's go take this to the farm. By, well, let's get the loan out we are going to need. This one is going to give us about 90000 and how much was that? Ooh, don't advance. Um, but I think this will put our harvester in a good spot for a while. And I know we're spending like crazy. So it cost us 50000 to upgrade. I actually find that's pretty good. And this guy right here should be, we should be upgrading this as well. But we might be in the hole big time for this. So... Let me get this sorted out and be back here in a minute, folks. All right, I did just sell that and get quite a bit more than I thought I was going to. So this is a lot smarter investment than I originally thought. Um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and grab um, just for the stuff that we're going to pull back because we might have to bring the header and stuff back now i know that we're going to need the header and that's not going to be cheap but this slight upgrade i think is going to help us in the long term because i have been watching that for a while and harvesters plain harvesters haven't came up too many times so i know this puts us in the hole a little bit with our loan but i think when it's all said and done here we're still going to have less than a three hundred thousand dollar loan and we're gonna have a lot of better equipment for this harvest to go ahead so let's go ahead um so we're gonna need around another hundred thousand probably let's take out 150 we can just repay what we don't use first of all let's go here let's borrow 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 and we'll just go to 300,000. And like I said, we'll let's go ahead and repair this guy quick. Um, now, I know this tether isn't big, but it was super cheap. And if we do want to get into grass, we'll have this guy. So let's go ahead and repair that tether. Oh, wow, the repair wasn't bad at all. All right, so we got a super good deal on that guy. Pull them up. Let's grab the... That is actually not a bad deal either. If a person was looking at it, and I'm not sure what this is. A pallet trailer? Hmm. Well, that just does not look very big. I don't feel like that would help us at all. Let's buy you. Um, and the wheel setup is just wide tires. Alright, and it was this Trouberg is the wide tires. We don't need anything, I don't think. I don't, we don't really need wide tires, so I think we're just going to go with just regular wide tires here, or regular tires. Alright, let's go ahead and see what the repair costs are going to be on this bad boy. I do think they're not going to be cheap. 
Ooh, this guy is fancy though. Let's go ahead quickly and uh, yeah, let's repair. Let's see what our repair costs are gonna be. And I mean, we won't repaint this one. We'll leave it that way. Repair is 4,000. Really, that isn't that bad. I'm actually super excited we did this. I was worried this was going to be a bad idea. And now I'm starting to think this was actually a good idea. Let's go ahead and see the combinations over here. Um, let's go ahead and just get this header for right now, maybe. Uh, well, we are doing corn next, so let's grab the corn header, actually. Uh, or is there one that can do corn and... Oh, okay, this one can do corn, okay. And it can do sunflowers, which is good. So let's grab that. Let's uh, get into her and check this new one out. This is super fancy. And before we check it out, too, we got to actually buy the... Really quickly, we want to buy that... I know that sounds crazy... But this guy is going to be a huge help. And we can sell that other one we have. Silage additives tanks. Ah. Yeah, we could add that later. Let's just get this guy. Yeah, let's just get this guy plain willy-nilly here. Like I said, two pretty expensive buys. But I think they're going to help us out quite a bit. Like, I think these are two really good ones so that means i have to actually pick up the only tractor that can pull this guy is going to be this guy um the reason this guy is going to be so important though is also because for selling we don't have nothing that can sell straw on a big level and we have like two hundred thousand of it sitting there in our deal to go sell this time Let's see, repair. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, so honestly, we are sitting on a pretty big loan. And really quick, before we check out our new equipment, we should have this guy. Um, why don't you go out? And we're going to have you fertilize, even though I know we're not ready for fields. We should definitely fertilize right now, though, because... Um, this is going to put us in a much better spot. Oh, God, you're a little light in the front, aren't you? All right, let's grab a weight. And we're going to go ahead and send this guy. Oh, no. No, this is bad. There we go. Oh, okay, that's much better. This fertilizer is about all this guy can do here. Um, <laughs> we might need to buy a bigger weight to keep the front of Classy Dog down. So let's go ahead and have this guy start fertilizing. I believe we can fertilize right now. Yep. And hire a worker so that we can go play with the new equipment here, folks. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's take a look here. Wow, this is way better than the old rickety one. All right. So, wow, this is... You know, like I said, at first, I was a little nervous about this buy, and now I'm not, and we can actually come back and sell. Um, we can go ahead and grab. We'll take this guy back. Actually, one thing that's nice about this guy is top speed is also a lot better. I think the top speed on the old guy was like, on Rickety, was 12 or something. Um, oh, man. Um... Crud, I didn't even name this guy. We need to name this guy something. I will do that off camera. And But I'm going to go ahead and sell our old guy and then bring you back. This guy we're going to go ahead and sell. We're not going to need this one anymore. So, All right, let me go grab it, get all this stuff sorted out, and I'll be right back. All okay, right, we're back to sell our old loader wagon. And we're going to get, what was that? Five grand, six grand. All right, and let's go over here quick. Let's see. Yep, you're done fertilizing, so we're good there. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and sell uh, construction, construction. 
Let's go ahead and demolish this guy. We're not going to need him at all. Um, oop, go up. And we'll get 1400 there. And we can put some grass there. We'll worry about that later, though. We've already spent way too much in this episode. Um, and let's go ahead and pay off part of our loan and see how bad this episode was. I have a buying problem. And we have a 250 quarter million dollar loan, but we're getting ready to sell everything. We'll be doing that in the next episode, probably. But we have Bumblebee here. Actually, my wife thought of that name, and we are going with it. It is the little Bumblebee, and it should be a lot of fun. Also, this thing just looks really cool. I like the even like the decals on it and stuff. Now, I didn't repaint it, so it's still old paint. But this is going to be our old harvester for a while. So um, I don't plan on upgrading unless there's like a really good deal of 70% off. I know I've been buying a lot, but we've been buying stuff we really could use. And from here on out, we're not going to buy stuff unless it's a perfect deal. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab this tether, get the fertilizer spreader home, and we'll see you in the next episode, folks.